Hey guys, a lot of you probably won't like this, especially if you're paying $8 to a Discord channel on MTG Finance to be scammed. You're not gonna like what I have to tell you. Uh, magic isn't really a way to become rich. You might even look at an alpha investments, and I think he'll admit, like Alpha Rudy seems like an honest guy if you ask him how he got became a millionaire and how he was able to afford all these reserve list cards that he does not sell, then he would tell you that he it was probably some cruise line stocks in 2008. I knew there was a lot of really good things to buy in 2008, but I didn't have the capital. I was you know, massively in debt from NYU. I graduated NYU December 2008, and I saw all of these really great investments from real estate to businesses to bank Bank stocks were very low at the time, of course. AIG, I mean, geez. Uh, these companies were near bankruptcy, so they were devalued uh, enormously. Even the banks like J.P. Morgan Chase that were relatively stable, they were devalued because everyone lumped banks in one category. Or cruise lines, for instance, is the very famous one that Rudy talks about. And Rudy made a lot of money buying cruise line stock. Um, had I had the capital, I would probably agree with that investment. And it, in hindsight, is 2020, right? But I could have bought something at the time, but I didn't have capital. Uh, many of you ask, am I a millionaire? And the answer is yes, I am. And I can prove it to you uh, via simple math. I have about $200,000 in cash, as you can see here are my stocks. I live in a $400,000 home and my business has been valued at $480,000 by a professional company based on cash flow, profit, revenue. I mean, I bought, I paid $340,000 for 71% of my company. That's, ex that's why I know what the company is worth because before I bought it, I, as the buyer and the seller, agreed to a person to figure out the value of the company and what 71% of the company was worth, which is $340,000. So I own 100% of said marketing company plus my home. I have probably $120,000 120, $120, in obos uh, in the mortgage, but at a really, really low rate because I foolishly bought all the points but regardless um, I do have in terms of assets I have about a million plus in asset um, if you follow my other channel gutterless you will know that I am you know a millionaire because every video is titled millionaire uh, I expect Rudy is a millionaire many times over and open boosters I've heard from various people is also a millionaire so what do millionaires have in common uh, we enjoy our hobbies, right? Open Boosters opens very valuable cards. He doesn't expect to get the value back from most of the booster packs. He's fine with losing money every pack he opens. Rudy is just hoarding these reserve list cards. You don't make money until you sell. If Rudy doesn't sell the reserve list cards, has he made money? No, he has not. Right? It, it, so let me get into how to make money. Right now, 2020 is a really good time. The stock market was under 20,000. The NASDAQ was under 20,000. Had you bought literally anything at the time, or just everything, let's say you had $20,000 and you just dumped it into the stock market. I think it was like 1,900. It, it was going down. What was the lowest of the stock market, NASDAQ? I know the S&P 500 hit 242. I bought S&P 500 stocks at 250. Right now, they're close to 300 again. Regardless, everyone made about 20 to 25% had you bought it at the low. Now, you might think, oh, well, how did I know it's the low? Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, it's true. No one can predict that it is the low. So let me see. Six months ago. So the low of the NASDAQ composite was 60 879 and now it is 9375 so it has the nasdaq composite if you had bought or uh gold is at all-time high by the way 
I love gold. I love gold. I love physical gold, and obviously I like the stock gold because I always like shiny things. Why not? Even though if it's a stock, it's easier for me to sell. Gold, you know, I like gold jewelry. I like gold. Okay, I like gold. Uh, my dream is to have like a lion made purely of gold, a life-size lion of gold. But maybe it would be hollow. Maybe I filled up with silver. I, it might be gold plated. Anyway, my point is no one is really getting rich from Magic the Gathering. Everyone who has lots of Magic cards, including myself, I'm up to 600 dual lands now, is rich from doing something else. Then they buy Magic cards and they hold on to them and they occasionally go up in price. Like Filia, I was buying her for $2.00. I didn't sell a single Filia, so I didn't make money from her. At one time, she was like $20, buy list for like 10 And I was like, eh. But then, but, but then for me, it's like, why? Why should I buy list at 10 when I'm just going to have to buy her again at 10 when she dips? You know, it doesn't make any sense. So what I've learned is to hold, which is what Alpha Investment does. He holds his very valuable cards, and then he sells his crappy cards, which is what I do. I sell my standard crap well that's what i was doing at um with, when i had that walmart contract i still do i just don't do magic cards i do legos instead legos zoom zooms mystery minis uh funkos any, anything but magic cards essentially i still do pokemon cards a little bit but i'm a little skeptical right now so maybe i will cancel my pokemon cards or order soon my point is open boosters is a wealthy guy he did not make his money from buying magic cards, okay? And opening them and losing 90% of the value as soon as the cards open, okay? Um, there's another guy, um, Power Nine Quest, pretty interesting video. He did not make his money from opening magic cards, okay? He's opening, obviously, beta and alpha starters and losing a bunch of money every opening, Right? Like, he didn't make money from even unsleeved media. I know we can't say his name because he's dangerous to society. Um, but he owned a marketing agency very similar to me, and he was making quite a bit of money as well. Like, you do realize that people with the largest magic collections did not make their money playing magic, right? We're not magic pros. We're not magic content creator. Like, well, I guess we are, but we're not Tularean Community Colleges or the Manasaurus or Weds. Okay, Manasaurus is Weds. My brain is just like blowing up right now because I have so many things to tell you about how to make money, but the vast majority of you are just going to pay $8 to MTG Finance to learn how to make, how to be scammed, right? That's basically what it is. $8 a month so you can buy some fake booster box that will never get sent to you. For ten thousand dollars, <laughs> I mean, this is just like, like you have to understand that um, when I look at the MTG Finance article and I look at the numbers, like they're saying that it doesn't make any sense to me. Like my business generates these numbers like every week, and the and this is like a, something they they're proud of, like wow, they generate this number once a year and, you know, in terms of, like, how much profit they have, it doesn't make any sense. So, Rudy owns, he does restaurant businesses, he has government contracts, he invested in Carnival Cruise Line, and he used that money to buy Magic cards he enjoys buying. He flips Magic cards to his Patreons and to his subscribers so he can buy more Magic cards he enjoys buying. He's still buying old Magic cards. And to me and him both... And to open boosters, to anyone, to Power Nine Quest, to anyone, Unsleeved Media, to anyone with money, we didn't make our money from MTG Finance or buying Magic cards. Like, you have to understand this. There is no realm where you become a millionaire or a trillionaire or whatever you want to be. You need to own a business. Now, if you're a card kingdom, yes, you're probably a millionaire. If you're Channel Fireball, yes, you're definitely, your assets are over, well over a million dollars. Same Star City Games. Because they have a brand, they have a website, they have um, SEO. They have, you probably don't even know what SEO is, but that's what I do for a living. You have a system to generate you income all the time. 
So it's not a one-time sale like that Chapman made and then he goes on vacation. No, you have a set income that comes in every week, that comes in every month. And it is way higher than what that Chapman person was making when he took a vacation. Like if you own a legit business that is doing well, there I, I turned down a ton of the PPP loans because I didn't need it. I'm doing really, really well. My stocks are doing well. My company's doing well. My employees, I didn't furlough or lay off a single person. We're hiring now. We just hired a new guy. Uh, he is a nurse. Uh, he's pretty interesting. Maybe he'll appear on the channel. He's a really nerdy dude. And yes, yeah, before you guys say, he is a male. He. So I know that a lot of you criticize me for things but that's really unfounded. It's just that, like, honestly, like, who would want to be on this channel? <laughs> like, nobody. The answer is nobody. But, like, if you're female, I guess, like, you kind of care about Instagram a little bit more and you can maybe theoretically promote yourself. But, like, any dude's going to be like, oh, man, I'm going to stay away from this. So to summarize, no. I did not become a millionaire from MTG Finance for paying a uh, monthly uh, subscription of $8 a month. Bye, guys.